everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, or should I actually say this in another language? Buona tutta? Lumia buona dimis dia. This is really hard. Okay, hang on, I need to park up to read this one. Buona tutta lumia. Buona diminicia. Buona zuya. This is incredible, this language. Okay, this is Romanian, by the way. Buna sera, zero buona, spen sa voi toci, toci, toti, toti sa aveti o zi, I'm just saying it like an Italian now. Extraordinar dada numele meo elex, chi bene ati revenit la GTA 5. By the way, if you haven't already figured out, I know nothing about Romanian. Uh, this has actually been my biggest fear about doing these foreign language intros is I think some of them are going to be so inaccurate that it is just painful for anyone to hear. So apologies to everyone from Romania and also apologies for my driving just there because that was absolutely terrible. So I guess I've just bought the car because of that. So this thing that I'm driving right now, this crazy interior rally car that's completely stripped out, is this. This is a currently unreleased car for GTA 5 and it is like so deeply into unreleased territory that there's currently no news of when this is going to be released. This is going to be one of the later cars that is going to be coming out from this latest update. So don't expect to see this in online anytime soon unless Rockstar suddenly decide to flip and release this thing. So you're probably wondering, well actually, some of you probably can guess what this is based on because it's it sort of looks like a Ford Focus RS. This is in fact the Vapid Flash GT, which is of course Rockstar's answer to the Focus RS. Incredibly weird. In incredibly weird. I mean, Ford isn't really my favorite car. I, I mean, I appreciate the Focus RS, but I've never really been that into how it looks. This thing's just a little bit too jarring. It's just a little bit too sharp looking. Let's just get a fix and have a look at this thing. Yeah, it's definitely not my cup of tea. I don't know if anyone else is going to agree with me here, or if you all think that this is the most beautiful car ever made, but whoa, there's a lot of grill here. There's a lot of sharp points here. This is definitely one of these weird cars. This is, there's something about the Focus RS that is like, I, I, I don't know if it's the people that own them. The people, like every time you go to a car meet, there's always someone in a Focus RS just hitting off the rev limiter the whole time and that it's sort of very much a yobbo car if you can call it that. So yeah, I've never really been that into these cars even though I appreciate that they're actually incredibly fast and probably really nice to drive. But I've just never really been that into them. However, we now have this version of GTA which means I can go ahead and tune this up because there are some tuning parts and check this thing out in more detail. But before we do, there's going to be some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure eight. Links for my Twitter are in the description below as always. And also Instagram underscore figure eight as well. Links for that in the description below as well. Right, this has got here. This thing is very loud. So let's go to the external view. When you're on the interior view, this thing is just ridiculously loud. This is very brash, very rough. Is this guy gonna try and park up because, oh, uh, why? Why? <laughs> he just took like the one spot I was gonna go in. So here we are with the Flash GT. Interestingly, they've called it the Flash, which is also, for those of you that do remember, the name of a law-friendly style version of a Civic which was actually taken from BeamNG. So uh, it's a shame that Rockstar have actually taken the word Flash for something else. So I guess that car needs to be renamed. I don't know. But I mean, it's based on the focus, begins with S. I can see where they got the name from. So here's the interior, all stripped out, all rally style. As you can see, this is definitely not a road going version. This is purely made for the track, this thing. So let's just see what we got inside here. So let's just go to tuning parts on Quant V. Uh, because I do not have menus mod right now, do not have access to it, got to wait for script hook to be updated. So let's just start off with spoilers. So we have the stock, we have the livery version of the stock wing. I guess that's because, I guess we'll be needing that later if we want to have some liveries on here. We also have the carbon version, then we have the secondary wing. Again, we have a version with livery and carbon. Then we also have this version with livery and carbon. Now, 
I mean, if this car's supposed to be as outrageous as possible, then, mind you, these are actually very outrageous looking. I mean, they look very cool. Especially this and this one, but this is just huge. So I guess that's the one to go for. Then on the front bumper, we have the stock. We have the primary paint race splitter. We have the secondary version. Again, I've got white on both primary and secondary right now. Then we have the carbon version. We have the primary color one with canards. This is the track splitter. Then we have the secondary color and then the carbon version as well. I'm actually just going to go for full carbon on this one. Seems like I've gone for carbon on the spoiler as well. So let's go for carbon on that. We have no options for rear bumpers. We're just left with that. On the side skirts, we have the stock. We have the primary paint color. Just a little one there. Secondary color and carbon. And then we also have the primary color version of this one. Secondary and carbon. I'm going to go for carbon again. On the exhausts, we have the twin stock. We have this. Ooh, that completely changes that. Puts them into the middle. I like that. We also have the big boss single one with the titanium tip. Looks awful. Then we have some side exits. Oh, look at that. In chrome and carbon. I guess carbon for that as well. Then onto the frame, we have the stock. We have the scoop on the roof. This is actually just the roof scoop here. This one says livery required, I guess. Then we also have this one, the secondary color. We have the carbon version. Then we have this one for the liveries, and then we have the secondary and the carbon as well. I'm going to go for the livery version on this one, just because I want to see what the liveries look like. So we'll keep that there for now. Uh, we have no options for grill on the hood. We have the options of the stock. We have a carbon version of the stock hood. We have the classic sport hood, which gets rid of all the vents and stuff. Then we have the carbon version of that. Then we also have the race hood with the carbon version as well. Again, I'm going to go for just the race hood, I think, because I want to see what the, all the liveries look like. We have nothing for fenders or right fenders on the roof. We have some... Oh, I see. We're going to have these banners here for Vapid Racing, Shepal, and Globe Oil, which actually aren't very nicely textured. That's really low quality. That's not very good. <laughs> right, so I don't know what we're going to go for yet because we don't have any livery options right now. So we'll just keep that as it is. Stick a turbo on. We, can, I guess we can go ahead and modify the engine, brakes, transmission suspension what do we got we can go from stock all the way down to that i guess that works we'll knock that down and then onto the livery we have the options of the stock blank we have the classic stripes which oh adds in the american flag there as you can see then we have the oh it's always an american flag okay that's interesting that's very interesting what's that about i don't know but we have the stripes we have the race things down the bottom, which actually looks like some sort of like Ford Motorsport thing. I guess Vapid Ford. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. I've definitely actually seen a Focus in real life that had that graphic on the side. Then we've got this version of the stripes again. Also has the flag and these on the side as well. Then we have this. This just always is the American flag, I think. No, I've just gone through. Apart from a couple, that is the American flag, which is kind of weird. So we have the Zero RC4. Which actually fits this car really nicely. I like how this looks on the back as well. Then we have the cell tower one. That's pretty cool as well, but definitely not as nice as the zero one. Then we have the Pissfasser RC2. That's all right. I'm still zero. RC4 is definitely my favorite so far. Then we have the Globe Oil 7. As you can see around there. This one, again, you can see this one actually gets rid of the American flag nicely. Then we have this one, the GNB. The quick fix, gutter and blood, Stronzo. Very weird one, this one, especially with the texture that it gives you. Sort of like a cracked desert sand look. Uh, but then we also have the junk version, which also has a black, oh, it's a black textured version of that on the roof. Junk, the quick fix, very weird. And then we have rum racing, which does actually look like Ken Block's Ford Focus rally car. Or at least I think it does. It definitely reminds me of that at least. So actually, I'm going to go for the zero because i actually really like how that looks even with the white just that is great and as for wheels i actually think that the wheels that are on it are going to be perfectly fine for this build which means that that is done that is that build finished and completed it would be very interesting actually to see if rockstar was to make a civilian version of this car because we have the gt version so it would be nice to at least have the option of the civilian lucky, one buddy because you really wouldn't want to see this one driving around in traffic because this is so heavily modified that you're not going to have this as a road car. I mean, look at this thing. You're not going to buy this from a showroom like this. But can I just say, though, 
that this thing does cost 1.675 million dollars in GTA Online when it comes out. So I guess if this does interest you, then I'd get saving because this thing's pretty expensive. As for power, it's actually not that slow. It does feel nice and fast. It has pretty quick pickup on the acceleration. I think this one would probably be quite a nice car if used in races. Let's try a little stopwatch run. Let's just go down to the airport drag and just see what sort of time we can get on this one. And off we go. Now, just to point out that when we did this recently where we checked out the XXR, I was using the previous version of GTA. I'm now using the latest version, but I've moved it back so that I can use mods. It's very confusing. So again, this isn't going to be entirely accurate, but we've managed to get a 19.4 second time on that run with a 2.9 second 0 to 60. So as you can see, the acceleration on this one is pretty good. This is perhaps going to be like a really nice handling car. This would probably be really good for sort of like mid-tier racing, not anything with supercars or anything, but yeah. There we are. And also look at that with the exhausts flaming on the side. That is cool. And there we have the brake lights as well. Interesting little bar that we have there. Right, so I've got to do another build. So let's just go for a speed build and try and make a dance version. Let's give it a try. Okay, so here we are done with the second build. Now, I didn't go for stance. I perhaps will try that with the third one, but I thought I'd then go for a more street look. So this is supposed to look like some sort of like specced up version. We've got a carbon bonnet. We've got carbon splitters. We've got a little bit of carbon down there. So it's like it's had a few optional extras. We've gone for this spoiler in carbon as well. And then I've gone for the Vapid Motor Company flag style livery on this one. Again, the interior is still stripped out. This one I still think could be driven by someone on the road. This could still be owned by someone. It wouldn't be sold in the factory like this, but it's not so sort of like racing livery inspired. This does look like one that could be driven out on the streets. And I spec this up with the more suitable uh, sort of twin central exit exhaust instead of the ones that come out the side. And I've gone for these nice wheels here, which I think look like very nice motorsport style wheels. And there we are with our second build. Let's give the stance one a try. I don't think it's going to work because it's just such a big car with such big arches. It's perhaps not really going to look right, but especially actually because it's just so angular and weird. But let's give it a try. I'm always up for a challenge. Okay, and here we are done with the final build. Going for a stance build, I mean, it's definitely slammed right down to the ground. We can definitely get it flush. I mean, whether you think it looks good or not, well, that's for you to decide. But there we are with a, as far as I can get, simplistic version of this car. Because definitely without it, it's very brash and crazy like that one is. But there we go. There is a stanced version of the Flash GT for GTA 5. This one's going to be a while before it comes out, but I wanted to show you guys and check this out just to get you excited for a nice unreleased car. It's always exciting when we get to check these out before they are available in online mode. So there we are. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said in the previous video, if you have a foreign language intro, please try and translate it as accurately as possible because I've had some people tell me that the ones that I've read out recently have been wrong. And please do not be offended if I read them terribly. I don't know how to pronounce most languages sometimes i get lucky sometimes i have an inkling sometimes it's just an absolute mess especially like romanian we had today if any of you have any sort of um, accurately translated korean japanese or chinese versions whether cantonese mandarin um you can leave them with the original writing like hiragana katagana hangul you know all that sort of stuff i can read it the cyrillic in russian i i can read it i can if i have a character I don't know I can look it up but you don't have to because I've seen some like really weird sort of where they've tried to translate it into sort of sounding like English and I know for a fact it is it's just all wrong <laughs>
So, yeah, just, just give it to me straight. I can figure it out for myself. But there we go, guys. That is it. That is the Vapid Flash GT for GTA 5. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these builds is your favorite. The stance, this sort of crazy one here, or the original Star Rally version. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Yeah.